What is good guys, back with another Smoke on Snake Draft game, this time CG Mons vs Lefties for a semi-finals of Smoke on Snake Draft. You see Sable Elite, uh, as CG Mons brings a Sable Elite balance, most likely Megina is going to be a solvers on both sides. Uh, so CG Mons either going to protect with a Sable Elite or go hard to his own Megina. The reason why you would go hard to your Megina is if you fear the Megina being Calm Mind on the other side. And his Megina is like the best answer for that and you don't want to risk a protect on the Calm Mind. So I assume he's just gonna go to Megina here, as Lefties is gonna go for Flur uh, Volt Switch, I would say. I would go for Volt Switch, he goes for Iron Head. I guess that's like the best move he had to hit the incoming Megina. Because he knew that the um, Sable wasn't gonna stay in turn 1. Or he just protected the, predicted the Protect, maybe. So now we're gonna see either them and Megina versus Megina exchanging Iron Heads or Volt Switches. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the about the rest of the team. Either the Coco or the Greninja has to be Scarf on CG Mons team for some speed control. The land is going to be Rocks. The Mew should be Defog, Softball, Ice Beam. And I guess Willow Wisp in the last slot. So he goes for Iron Head. He does get a flinch. I don't know if this is his speed tie or if, his, or if CG Mons is just faster. But I expect um, Lefties to get the slow Volt Switch. I see you might as Volt Switch himself. Probably into Mew here. Because you don't want to risk your Landris on a potential Fuller Cannon or Ice Beam. So this just going to Mew. And Clefable is really obvious here because Mew would like Mew can usually not touch Clefable. So if Sidumas can maybe double into something, if unless he has a move to hit Clefable with the Mew, then he has to double into like Coco uh, Coco Orlando or Megina. Yeah, Coco Orlando would be, make the most sense to me to double out into if you see Dumas here. Orlando uh, to get up your rocks or Coco to um then Volt Switch on the Clefable because the Clefable probably wouldn't want to stay in. Or potentially T-Bolt. I mean, we don't know the Coco set yet. But I'm guessing um, the Coco should be Z-Move and the Greninja should be Scarf on CDMA's side as he does have T-Wave Mew. Okay, I did not see that one coming. I thought he would have Wisp, which is why I thought that he should have doubled. But if he had T-Wave, that was a completely fine play break in the Clef. Um, so Sidiuma is probably going to be forced to switch out into his Megina or his Lando here. Uh, lefties can get up rocks here. I don't know if he has rocks on Clef or on Lando. I'm assuming that's defensive Lando on lefties. Actually, it doesn't have to be defensive Lando. Yeah, it doesn't have to be defensive Lando. I'm actually not sure if the Lando or if the Lari is Scarf on lefties' side. The Gera could be Mega or it could also be Z move. And I guess the Magnezone could be Specs or Z move as well, depending on if the Gera is Z move. If the Gera is not Z move, the Magnezone could be Z move for sure. So this just going to Landris, and Sidiuma is probably just going to U-turn here because it covers um, Lefty switching out. And even if Lefty stays in, um, Sidiuma has like a Mew in the back that could just come out. So does U-turn? We do see it's not Helmet. So he gets a crit. I'm not sure if that's defensive um, land on Lefty side because of the crit. But I think it's defensive because the crit only did 11%. So now we can see the Greninja or the. Ninja or Mew come out here. I, no, Sableye, Sableye can come out here and go for a knockoff. Because um, Lefties is definitely not going to stay in with the Landris, risking to get burned. So I think Sidiuma can go into a Sableye Mega Wolf and go for a knockoff and get rid of the Clefables uh, item. This is definitely the play, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, he's forced into Clef or Megina, and he's probably going to go Clef because Clef is already parried and you don't want to get um, burned on the gear. So Lefties is gonna hard into Clef here. I mean, he could U-turn. Oh, he did U-turn them. That's a fire play. Okay. I guess he knew that the Sableye... If the Sableye Megas, it loses its prankster ability. Uh, which means even if it went for Willow Wisp, it would be fine. I mean, it makes sense. So he just probably knocked Brick in the Clef. Mm -hmm. Completely understandable that Lefties <laughs> made the U-turn play. But I don't think he had to risk that. And... Sijimans is gonna go to his... I don't know, like Greninja might have gunk shot, but he can obviously not go hard to it. And like Sijuma's kinda weak to this clef. I was gonna say if he was that he would go into maybe Megina or Mew, but I'm not 100 percent sure. And now he can just go for Ice Beam here. Or he could double um He could double out predicting lefties to, to switch into Clef. Because Clef is already paired. I still think this Mew is Ice Beam, obviously. Like Ice Beam, Softball, Defog, and then T Wave instead of Wisp, which is interesting. But if I'm Sidiuma here, I would probably double into um, something that pressures the Clefable because the Clefable is really obvious here. Oh, by the way, the Clefable was in Life Orb, which is really interesting. I don't know if I talked about that already. So it's 
Um, probably rocks on Lando and then maybe three attacks on the Clef. He he U-turns because he doesn't want to um, risk the Sableye coming out. And there's not really a point in rocking. Um, I guess maybe he risked taking an Ice Beam with his Landers, which I'm a bit surprised by. Uh, so Sijumas is gonna um, U-turn here with his Landers as Lefty is most likely gonna Dragon Dance up. And since the Greninja is, it should be Scarfed, that outspeeds the Gyarados after one Dragon Dance. So U-turn should do some nice chip here to the Gyarados. And now he's gonna go to Greninja or Coco, depending on which one of the two is the Scarfer. Um, it should be a Scarf Greninja, but I guess he could potentially bluff a Scarf with Coco. Even though that's like Scarf Coco is really uncommon, I think it's super rare. I'm not a big fan of that set at all. That's like something I would use on like a fun team that I don't that I use, like use just for fun on ladder. Like I wouldn't bring that to a tour. So I would assume that it is, Coco is not Scarf, but he does go into Coco. So maybe he just wants to go to Coco to pivot back into Landris to get off and intimidate on the Gyarados. Uh, so Lefties is. He's not gonna go for... Maybe he's baiting an Earthquake and he wants to pivot into land on the Earthquake. He didn't Mega yet, so this could definitely be Z-Move Gera. But okay, he does Scout. He does Scout for Scarf Coco. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's not Scarf Coco. CD must just went back into land or, um, to get the Intimidate. Or to uh, potentially get some Helmet on the Waterfall. I'm not 100% sure about that series of plays. Um, but CD must, um can go for Roxy with his Lando if he has that. Lefties can go to Gyarados here. Or Clefable, both are options. I don't think you risk going Ladi on a potential U-turn. I think Gyarados or Clefable is the play. And you obviously don't want to go to Magnus on a beginner. <laughs> it's either Gyarados or Clef. But rocks are super free, so I would really be surprised if he didn't just go for rocks. So now the Ladi is in, and he can either go to Megina or Mew, but if he fears a trick, he could also go to Sableye. Uh, but he's definitely not going to stay in with the land, I don't think, unless he breaks the Defog. I guess he could stay in to break the Defog and go for U-Turn, but Health on land was nice. And chipping down Gyarados, he did break the Defog and he just went for U-Turn, I think, yeah. Nice play. That, that was a bit risky because I think health on this is really nice to have. But I guess it was kind of obvious that he was going to defog for the Gyarados. And uh, I think Jago would not have killed because this is probably Scarf Lari. So it's locked into defog now, which gives Sijima a lot of options. He can go to Greninja here and click U turn. He can go to Coco here and click like Volt Switcher U turn. Or like maybe Calm Mind if he has that. He has like so many options here. He can go to Magina. Uh, I think Greninja and U-Turn is like overall the best play, or like th that's like the freest play. You don't have to think about really like much because you just get momentum with Greninja. I he does go Greninja, and I'm pretty sure he's just gonna click U-Turn. This should be U-Turn, Rock Slide, Ice Beam, and Spikes. Maybe Ice Beam and Gunk Shot. That's just U-Turn on the gear, and now he can go to his um, to his Lando or to his uh, Mew. Oh, he goes Lando. And I guess he can just U-turn again, and even if Lefties predicts that he can then go to his Mew or his Megina afterwards, which should be completely fine for CDMA. I don't think he loses much. Uh, let's see if Lefties predicted that and went for Volt Switch, it would be a hard play. He just went for Ice Beam. And I don't think he was Shocker. I don't know why he Ice Beamed. I think he would have died to Earthquake. But yeah, the T-Wave is going to come out here from the Mew, so I don't know if Lefties wants to take that. I think Lefties could hard into Magnus Zone here. Because he doesn't want to get T-Waved on the Megina. I, that's what I would do at least. I wouldn't want to get T-Waved. I would hard into Clef or into Magna Zone here for sure. Because it's pretty obvious at this point that the Mew cannot touch both of these. Like, generally Mew cannot touch Zone unless it has Wisp. But this one only has T-Wave so it can touch Zone. It's gonna have like Ice Beam and Defog and Softball and T-Wave there. So he does let the gear T-Wave to get a Soft Volts, which I assume, which I'm not the biggest fan of the play. But if he doesn't get paralyzed on the game, it should be fine. So now he can either go to Ladi to threaten the Mew with a trick. Or he can go to um, maybe Gyarados and threaten it with a taunt or with a sub. Or if he specs, he can also go to his Magnezone. He has like a lot of options. He goes into Ladi. So I think Sijumas is gonna go into his Sableye here. Because that covers the trick from the Ladi. 
Um, there's no point in going for Draco if you're lefties because of the new softballs that doesn't work. As he does go save lane, the laddie is T wave. What the fuck is going on? So I think Scarf T wave is for to check stuff like Volcarona. But that was really odd. Like, what is this T wave spin? Like, see, Duma has a T wave uh, Mew and lefties has a T wave laddie. And it just got bounced back. Um, so Clefable is gonna come out here. Um, I think Siduma can either go for recover or he can double out. Maybe double into Coco would be a good play because that that covers the Clefable and that covers also the Ladi staying in because the Ladi is most likely locked into Scarf T Wave. So he went land though. Um, I don't know if he predicted the Megina, but this works out really nice for him. I think double Coco would have been fine, but this works out better. Because he did go into Megina instead of um, Clefable. I mean, Megina was a fine play because it was already paralyzed as well. I guess that's why Lefty's got his gear paralyzed. So he cannot get will o -Wisp by the Sableye later in the game. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so Sidiuma is going to U-turn here again. And Lefty's is probably going to drag Nance. He's going to U-turn into Scarf Greninja is my guess. It's a threaten the Gyarados with a Rock Slide. Pretty sure Rock Slide is not going to kill. Gyarados is decently bulky. Um, I mean, it's better on the... The Volk is better on the Spadef side. But it's still decently bulky on the Fistaf side. Um, yeah, the way this has been played, I'm not 100% sure yet, but it could definitely be um, Z-Move Gyarados. So he U-turns on the Dragon Dance is what I assume. Mm -hmm. And now he's gonna go into his uh, Scarf Ninja, I would say. I don't think he has another play. Last time he went Coco, and I guess he was bluffing the Scarf and it worked. But this time I think he's forcing the Scarf Ninja. And he's gonna uh, fire off a Rock Slide. And yeah, this Duck Chi is not an OU anymore because when Duck Chi was an OU with Arena Trap and you had like Monster that set up and then your Greninja goes for Rock Slide and they go to Duggy in a Rock Slide and your Scarf Greninja was trapped. That was disgusting. But yeah, Rock Slide is pretty much the play here for Sidima and it doesn't kill, so lefties can technically Dragon Dance again predicting the Rock Slide. Uh, because lefties um, kind of wants to set up this Gyarados now that he's in because if any switches out, he has to take Rock Slide and the game. And Ladi is pretty low, so it's not gonna get that many opportunities to defog the rocks away. So I think staying in and just dragon dancing again with Gyarados is the play. Uh, hopefully Lefties is not gonna get flinched here, that would suck for him. Uh, this, this should be Rock Slide. I would be shocked if it's not Rock Slide Scarf Grand. Um, because Siyumas is quite weak to Volcarona. It is just Rock Slide. It should do like 60 or 70% of the 73. So the Gyarados DD again, it does not get flinched. And now Sidiuma can go into his land risk to get off the Intimidate. Uh, lefties can either Dragon Dance again, predicting that, or he can even go for the Z move. Um, because at this point, I think he's a Z move because he did not Mega. If he was if he was Mega, he would have Mega. He does go for Hydro Vortex, which means that was a free play because that was a fine play because it covers the Lando and you don't take Rocky Hammer damage that way. And if some, if the Greninja stayed in, would have died as well. Dragon Dance again would have been an ultimate flex play there, obviously. But now Sijuma has to go into Sableye because I think that's the only one that can live a hit. Uh, maybe the Mew can also live one and Ice Beam. Um, so, but I think going Sableye and knocking off is fine. You just have to hope that you don't get flinched. And if the Gyarados was Moxie, I think Sijuma might have just lost to it here. But thankfully for him, it was Intimidate. Um, yeah, like Gyarados is, I think Intimidate is fine because you can get better, you get better setup opportunities. But in this specific scenario, Moxie would have been really nice to have. So Sableye is just going to knock off here. Um, hopefully it's not going to get flinched because otherwise I think Sijumas is in a really bad position. He doesn't get flinched, he can just pick it off with a knockoff. And I think, yeah, it's pretty much confirmed Lefty doesn't have a Mega on his team, which is weird. And now he can go into his um, Magna Zone or his Landris here to threaten out the Sableye. And the Sableye doesn't really heal on much. I guess it can potentially heal on the Para, on the... It can maybe heal on the Lari locked into Psyshock or locked into something that's not Draco. Or it can also heal on the on the para from the fairies. <laughs> but he does just go Lando. And Earthquake is pretty free since Sidiuma's Lando is dead. Uh, he does not have a Balloon Mon, I'm pretty sure. So Le Lefties can just click Earthquake here. I think Sidiuma is just... Uh, he can go hard to Mew or he can sack his Sableye. I guess this is nice to keep as fodder. So I think uh, going hard Mew is the play here. If I recall correctly, the Mew is pretty healthy. So should be able to switch into the Lando. As yeah, exactly. He just just do that and he keeps it as fodder. And now Sidio is either gonna go for softball or ice beam. As lefties stayed in and because he, he's oh he's Yachi. I think that's also why he stayed in earlier on the Mew. But he predicted Sidio must to go for softball. That's why he stayed in with Lando because he wanted to get a slow U-turn. But Sidio yeah, just went hard for ice beam. Not a clef or the zone is gonna come out. And it's just gonna spam T bolt or discharge here. We know the Gyarados was Z-move, so this is not Z-move. This is either Specs or... I don't know. 
I don't think he's double assault vest. This could be Scarf of Specs. Because Scarf Zone is like pretty cool to check stuff like Kartana and Lefty's team seems quite weak to that otherwise. Or like Kartana in general doesn't have to be Scarf. SD Kartana seems like really threatening to him. So he does just sack off his Sableye here. And now he can go out into his... Um, wait, what? He switched out his Mew. What is he gonna go to? Megiana or Mew? Like Greninja doesn't really have a move to kill this. Pretty sure. And Coco also doesn't have a move. So he goes back to Mew. I guess he would have just wanted to scout for the Magnezone set. Now he's gonna softball as the zone is faster. So it is Scarf Zone, I think, yeah. So it's Scarf Zone and Scarf Gear. And not Scarf Gear. Scarf Zone and Scarf Lari. Double Scarf. So he's fishing for the Para. He's eventually gonna get it as he gets it here. As the thing is, I think Thidumas, um This doesn't matter too much. Um, I think he's just gonna eventually start spamming Ice Beam to weaken the Magnezone. And if he weakens the Magnezone, I think Thidumas pretty much wins with. With just his Tapu Coco. Because the Clefable is paralyzed and it doesn't beat Coco. It, it was life up, it was knocked off, it does not have his life anymore, it also doesn't have lefties. Megina is paralyzed and already chipped a bit. So Coco is gonna beat that as well. And the Lari is super low anyway. So he's just gonna softball again here. Oh Ice Beam, okay. Yeah, he just wants some to get some damage on the zone. And then he should win with his Coco. As he, he's just gonna softball here, right? And I think Th yeah, Thiduma pretty much wins this with his Coco in the back. Unless I'm missing something here. Um, I don't think the Coco revealed anything yet. But no matter what the Coco said is. It should be Z-Move. Because not, nothing else showed Z-Move yet. Megina's AV, Muse, Lefties, Mega Sap, Rocky Helmet, Lando and Scarf Granite. It should definitely be Z-Move Coco. So it could be either um, Z-T-Bolt or Z-Dazzling Gleam or Z-Wild Charge. And I think pretty much all those sets put in work. As he keeps getting off some Ice Beams. That crit was pretty nice for Cinema as well. Because he wants to get us in range. If it's... Uh, yeah, like, I think Coco pretty much, like, 2 hit KO's Magnezone after all these Ice Beams as he gets another crit. Yeah, this was a quite interesting game, to say the least. Um, see, my team looks nasty, dude. You don't want to face something like that. T-Wave Mew, um, I guess that's also because he's kind of weak to Volcarona, so you can at least... if But Volcarona sometimes runs sub. But I guess it's for certain setup sweepers. And for stuff like a fable that usually comes on Mew, which um, worked out in this game. So he's just gonna sack his Mew here and then come in with the Tapu Coco, and I think he cleans up from there. Um, if he doesn't wanna go to that, he can also go to Greninja if he has like Low Kick or Hydro Pump. That's another option Low Kick, Hydro Pump, or HP Fire, but you usually don't see HP Fire on Scarf Grin. And you don't wanna risk missing Pump, so I think he's just gonna sack his Mew and go to Grin um, his Coco afterwards. Uh, he could also go to his Megiana, I guess, but I think Coco is just the most likely to come out after. Yeah, the, those crits were pretty fortunate. He did not get para that often. Okay, now he got para twice in a row, actually. I haven't really been looking at it that much. So now he goes to gear. He saves like a 9% para mute as forward, which is interesting. But what if his Megia also gets paralyzed now? I think he's just... Um, yeah, I guess he's just trying to guarantee that the Magnezone is in range from Coco. As he gets a para full para. So this is a really well trained Magnezone. Gets another para. And he gets a para again, so this zone hangs down <laughs> the Megina completely, and now he's finally gonna go to Coco, yeah. And I don't know why he didn't sack his Mew. Because I think the Megina was a bit more valuable than the Mew, and he let that get para instead of sacking the Mew, but it doesn't matter. Coco should just win. Um, he can either go for t bolt or for um, Wild Charge or Calm Mind. If he has Calm Mind, this game is over. As he just t bolts Lari gets sacked off, and now he's gonna go to his Megina, which is AV, and we see this is. Most likely either Z Dazzling Gleam or Z Tilbolt. Uh, since it's special, the Megina's gonna be able to take a hit for sure. If he has Karma, he should definitely go for it. I don't know why he didn't go for it last turn. Uh, unless he unless he doesn't have it, obviously. But if he has it, he should have clicked it, I think. Because that ensures that he can take the hit better from Megina and Zone and also boost its special attack. So I think he's just gonna click the Z-move here if it's Gigavolt Havoc. If it's Z-Dazzling Gleam, he's obviously not gonna click it. But if it's Gigavolt Havoc, he's just gonna click that. As Lefty's just talking to the to Sakria thing or something. He just goes for Z-T-Bolt that doesn't kill because AV Megina is really bulky. The Para sucks a bit, but I don't think the Coco would have been gotten o code uh, Because AV Megina doesn't run max special attack. They run a lot of Spadev to check Ash Greninja better. So now you can just T-Bolt uh, pick up the Megina. And finish up the game with this Coco. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to say about this game, dude. Like some of 
some of this game was super weird. But I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll be back with more games as the zone just hard dies to a crit. And even if that didn't crit, the zone couldn't have killed the Coco. And even if the like Megina um, got off a hit on the Coco and the zone lift that and could have killed the Coco. I think the um, the Greninja... The, okay, the, I see why he kept the Mew. He kept the Mew because he's just gone. oh he has Taunt so this game just ends. He kept his Mew because it still outspeeds the Paralyzed Clefable. I guess, maybe. And also, um, Greninja with Gunk Shot also won this game, even if his Coco died. But, yeah, the Peril and Megina, I guess, kind of sucked for lefties because... And... But I actually don't know if the crit on Zone mattered because Zone is pretty frail. The crit might not have mattered because the Zone probably wasn't AV. It was Scarf because we saw that outspeed the Mutant. So that... I don't have the cards here, but I would just guess that Coco was a... Per is capable of doing 31 to a, a to a zone that it's not an AV. So I don't think the hacks mattered at the end, and Greninja should have would have cleaned up even if it mattered as my is how I see it. But thank you guys for watching. This was a semi-finals game. I'll be back with more games. My man Ultra Balls is gonna bring you guys another finals game, the Ubers game, stay tuned for that, and peace out friends. I also my man Ultra Balls is gonna bring you guys the Grand Slam finals whenever he has time. He's just busy at the moment. Stay tuned for that and goodbye.